Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you here with me today. So today I'm continuing with another video in our VAT series and I'm going to be talking all about different VAT schemes that you might like to use for your business. So when you register for VAT, you actually have two choices in VAT schemes. The first option is the standard rate VAT scheme, which involves reclaiming VAT on every eligible item that you buy or sell. The second option is the flat rate VAT scheme, which is open to businesses with an expected annual turnover of less than £150,000. And this scheme was actually introduced by HMRC to simplify the VAT process for freelancers, contractors and small business owners. On the flat rate VAT scheme, you will use a predetermined rate based on your industry type and pay this over to HMRC. So first things first, you add the standard rate of VAT at 20% onto your sales invoices and then you collect the full amount from your client through the sales invoice when they pay you. And then you apply your sector percentage to the new gross amount. And it's that figure which is then paid over to HMRC. The difference between the two rates is then retained as your business. The difference between those two rates is then retained by your business as income. There's a full list of VAT rates specifically for the flat rate scheme, which is available on HMRC's website, and I will include a link to that in the description of this video. So you can use that link to check if you are eligible, and if you are eligible, which rate applies to your industry or sector. You can also use the limited cost trader test, which is provided by HMRC, to also further check your eligibility on whether or not you'll be able to use the flat rate scheme. And as a bonus, HMRC also let you, for the first year that you are registered for the flat rate VAT scheme, HMRC allows you to apply a 1% discount in the first year. So I'm now going to move on to how you can decide as a small business owner which VAT scheme is best for you. So generally when you're deciding whether to register for VAT and on what scheme to register onto, you'll want to be looking at your turnover and expected turnover for the next 12 months. You'll then also want to have a think about the type of clients that you have and the expenses that you incur that you could be reclaiming VAT on. If you think you'd like to register for VAT, but you're not sure if you should be using a VAT scheme or not, you can use the links in the description to this video to book a meeting directly with me to have a chat about your business and VAT. I actually just thought I would run through a couple of different options when deciding whether or not to register for VAT to give you an idea of how you can make that decision. So some circumstances where you might not want to register for VAT would be when you have a turnover of less than £85,000, your taxable and vatable expenses are less than 1.5% of your turnover, and your customers are mostly non-VAT registered businesses, then there wouldn't be any benefit to you to registering for VAT. You might want to register for standard rate VAT when your turnover is at any stage, but a couple of the following apply. Your VAT taxable expenses are more than 1.5% of your turnover, and your customers are mostly VAT registered businesses. You might consider registering for the flat rate scheme if your turnover is more than 85,000 but less than 150,000, your VAT taxable expenses are less than 1.5% of your turnover. That's when you might consider registering for flat rate VAT. I thought next up I would just run through a super quick example of the flat rate scheme so you can understand how it works and what happens inside your business when you register. So let's say, for example, your business charges £1,000 for a service that your business provides. Your client will pay £1,200, which includes 20% of standard rated VAT of £200. Your business pays HMRC the industry flat rate VAT amount at 14.5%. So that's 14.5% of £1,200, which is £174. The business inside then accounts for the difference between the VAT that you charged, the VAT that you paid, as internal income. Because you're using the flat rate scheme, you cannot reclaim the VAT paid on your purchases as part of your VAT return, except for certain capital items which are worth over £2,000. Again, when you register for the flat rate scheme, HMRC allows you to apply a 1% discount for the first year of the scheme. Okay, so that is everything that you need to know about a couple of different 
VAT scheme. If you are close to the VAT threshold or you're thinking about becoming VAT registered, then we would love to hear from you. You can book some time with me using the meeting links in the description of this video. I would absolutely love to hear from you. I also have a couple of other videos which I'll pop up here now talking about what VAT actually is and then a couple of things that you need to do once you've registered for VAT. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.